It is estimated that over 2 million people have been killed, and millions others displaced since conflict broke out in the country in the late 1990s. Despite condemnation and international efforts to end the abuse of women, sexual violence is still prevalent in some parts of the country. An exhibition dubbed Tosepela Bangona, which translates to welcome them, is an initiative by Congolese artists who claim not enough is being done to stop physical and sexual crimes against women. We organized this exhibition and sell to support this woman who has been psychologically and physically abused. After the exhibition, 30% of the price of each item sold will be dedicated to assisting this raped woman. The history of women's sexual abuse is believed to have stemmed from the inflow of foreign militants during the Rwanda genocide era. By 2004, the situation in the Democratic Republic of Congo had deteriorated with human rights group Amnesty International reporting 40,000 cases of rape experienced in the country that year alone. This has caused artists like Didier Mukandla Goy to dedicate some of their earnings to support women in the country. This exhibition is globally focusing on women, but we thought that we had to assist this woman who has suffered during some time. As artists, what we can do is to help her through revenue from our works. With the eastern region of the Democratic Republic of Congo infamously regarded too as the rape capital of the world, the art exhibition is also seen as a positive move in trying to change the perceptions about the region. Nitsundebu, CCTV.